Recho sahidi Queen of you in the past Sumbi wako una nichanganya Neto kipenzi cha watu Wewe kwa angu ni mwumana Recho zeleti posi Sumbi wako una nichanganya Neto kipenzi I have once spoke about sexual abuse, sexual assault, all those things. I spoke about them before. The problem I have with you human beings is that when Rachel talk about things, you think like Rachel is looking for fame. I am not looking for fame. That's one thing I want you guys to understand. Now today, because someone out of know spoke about it, now it's major. When I spoke about it, Y'all ignored my video because you feel like if you go and watch my video, you're giving me viewers. You feel like if you go and watch that video, you're giving me subscribers. You feel like because you watch my video, I'm going to be rich because of you. No. I am not going to be rich because of you. I am going to be rich because I work hard for it. You understand? My topic about this, about this particular issue that is going on right now on social media. I posted that video six months ago. What did you do about it? Oh, you ignored my video thinking that I was seeking for fame. You're coming attacking me, attacking my channel. Today you're here saying, oh, if you don't talk about se sexual assault or sexual abuse, you're the cause, you're the reason, you're just like a rapist. You are the rapist. You are the rapist. You understand? Don't try to come here with this women empowerment. I'm not the problem. You guys are the problem. When we talk about certain things, you guys feel like, oh, they're just trying to show off. Oh, they're just trying to do one, two, three. You are the problem. You are, when people trying to talk about certain things, you all you have to do, you, you're gonna start beef out of nowhere because of what all oh, righteous is trying to be rich on or righteous is trying to be famous on, on, on YouTube. Bro, I did not open my YouTube channel because I want to be rich. I did not open my YouTube channel because I want to be famous on YouTube. I opened my YouTube channel for a reason to educate and to share my life experience with people. That's one thing you guys have to do. We cannot be here pretending like this sexual assault started today or yesterday. It's been going on for years and years and years. We understand. When I try to speak about it, I don't know if it's because my English is broken. You all, you all could not hear what I was saying. I don't really know what your problem was at that time. I don't know why do we have to post about it now. I don't know why we have to talk about it now. Why do we have to come out now? When I came out, what did you do about it? When I spoke about it, what did you do about it? You ignored me. You ignored my video. But today, it's important that I come up and speak up. What are you going to do? You want to report to the police officer? And then what? I've been living a traumatic life all this time. And when I try to speak about it, none of you, none of you step up or ask, are you okay or whatever. Did you ask? No, you didn't. Why is it so important today? So because there was a coronavirus and then, then Black Lives Matter came and then you want to come and start another movement? You think this is funny? You're trying to play with people's feelings? Is that what you're trying to do? Bro, we, we, we're going to speak about this. So just, I'm going to make one thing clear. Just because you're posting this nonsense post on, on social media, you're not going to force me to speak up. When I chose to speak up, y'all did not do anything about it. All right? So don't be there pretending like you care so much. Some of you guys are doing all of this to now get fame, not us. We, the victims, are quiet. You are not the victim. You're busy trying to post some useless poster saying, oh, if you don't talk about it, you're the problem. You're just like a rapist. You're the rapist. I don't care what you have to say about that. You understand? You, are the, you, you have no right or whatsoever to call anyone the cause when you don't know what they went through in their lives. You, do, you know nothing about the person. Just because I don't post about something on social media, it doesn't mean I'm not, work, I'm not hurt. It doesn't mean I don't really understand what's going on. It doesn't mean like I don't really care about what's really going on on social media. We get to know it just we keep silent so, because silence for some of us is the answer to a lot of questions that we cannot answer. You understand? So if this is the time everyone wants to speak up and try to expose their uncles and whatever, your brothers, your friend is father, your friend is brother, your friend is this and this and this, go ahead and talk about it. Nobody's stopping anybody and no one has ever stopped anybody from talking. Not even your parents can stop you from taking the step if you choose to take the steps. You understand? So if this is the right time, everyone feels like this is the right time, we're going to talk about these things, go ahead and talk about them. Sexual assault is there, it's alive, it's living, it's going to continue living. You all started with Black, Black Lives Matter. It only went for two weeks. Now it's all gone. People are still dying. People are still doing the same thing over and over again. It's like what we are doing there meant absolutely nothing. Now this sexual abuse or sexual assault movement, now it's going to start as a woman empowerment worldwide. Sooner or later, people are going to forget about it. You understand? So let people speak up when they choose to speak up. Don't force people to speak up because you feel like it's the right time for people to speak up. There's no right or wrong time to speak about this thing. You can speak about these things at any time you want to talk about it. 
The only problem I have with people, they trying to put these things like they care so much about the victims of this sexual assault or sexual abuse or be people who have been, who have been raped. You are trying to, 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 to act like you care so much you and the way you know how to, to write long English paragraphs or proper English or proper vocabulary. You be there trying to run and make people feel guilty for no reason. Hell no. We're going to speak up. I personally have spoken up about it and people are going to speak up when they feel is the right time for them to speak up. There's no right or wrong time. Don't think it is to just come up and start talking about these things. It's not easy. Living with trauma is not easy. You live hating everybody around you. You understand? So don't just be that. It's easy for you to just sit and post about these things. But it's actually not easy for someone who has been through it. That's one thing you guys have to understand. While you're, sit, while you're busy sitting trying to type what to write, think about these things properly. This whole issue of sexual assault, sexual whatever, it affects you as a person. It brings you down as a person. You feel embarrassed. You Sometimes you can't even walk in the street. Sometimes you just look at people like, oh, this is my father's friend doing this to me. This is a family friend doing this to me. Like, you end up hating people for no reason. I mean, what for a good saying? reason. Yes, you, you, you know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, you know what's up. If you want to talk about this now, you want to make a movement of women, women in particular on this. Go ahead. I pray that I pray that God will give people strength now to come out and talk about this issue. But don't just make this issue go for two years and then it goes silent. If you want to make this thing a movement or empowerment, make it go for a lifetime because it's not. It's not gonna be. <laughs> Let's keep it in such a way to